Today, the passage for our devotion has been taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, verses 36 to 50. One of the Pharisees invited Jesus to eat with him. Jesus went to the Pharisee's home and was eating at the table. A woman who lived a sinful life in that city found out that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house. So she took a bottle of perfume and knelt at his feet. She was crying and washed his feet with her tears. Then she dried his feet with her hair, kissed them over and over again, and poured the perfume on them. The Pharisee who had invited Jesus saw this and thought, if this man really were a prophet, he would know what sort of woman is touching him. She is a sinner. Jesus spoke up. Simon, I have something to say to you. Simon replied, Teacher, you are free to speak. So Jesus said, Two men owed a money lender some money. One owed him 500 silver coins and the other owed him 50. When they couldn't pay it back, he was kind enough to cancel their debts. Now, who do you think will love him to the most? Simon answered, I suppose the one who had the largest debt cancel. Jesus said to him, you are right. Then turning to the woman, he said to Simon, You see this woman? Don't you? I came into your house. You didn't wash my feet. But she had washed my feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. You didn't give me a kiss. But ever since I came in, she has not stopped kissing my feet. You didn't put any olive oil on my head, but she has poured perfume on my feet. That's why I am telling you that her many sins have been forgiven. The great love proves that, but whoever receives little forgiveness loves very little. Then Jesus said to her, your sins have been forgiven. The other guests thought, who is this man? Who even forgives sin? Jesus said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Amen. While in Pakistan, I was a medical doctor, a surgeon, and I came to learn that many people who were coming to me, they needed a surgery or some kind of medicines also. So the big tumors were taken out from their bodies and they went back happily. Once I also got sick, a medical sickness was there, but I found it that I could not even treat myself. So I had to go a doctor. So then I learned that although I was a doctor and I was treating many people, a time came in their lives and my lives that we needed a doctor. So I found that although the sickness which we all had, physical sickness, we could not treat ourselves. My dear brother and sister, same way. There are many people, they have a spiritual sickness. Some take it for granted. They think that they're, they are self-righteous and whatever they do, they can treat themselves. But it is not the way it should go. Although they don't take it seriously, but a time comes in their lives as the time came into that woman's life when we all face the shame and the guilt in ourselves. And there we cannot fix it. How we can fix it? Only Jesus Christ 
is the doctor, is the savior of the world who can forgive our sins. And that is the message for me and for everyone who is having in their lives the guilt and shame of the sins. Believe it. Have faith in Jesus Christ because he is the savior of this world. Amen.